As Corey said, my name is David Wright. I am the Motor City Hypnotist from Detroit. Now, the, with me, the difference is, in addition to being a hypnotist, I am also a licensed counselor therapist. I own an outpatient clinic in a suburb of Detroit. So I help people every day with hypnosis for things like smoking, uh, quitting smoking and weight loss, but I also help with emotional type issues such as anxiety and depression. And you'll see in just a moment how hypnosis can have effect on your emotional state in addition to your physical state. So to my volunteers on stage, in a moment I'm going to count to three. You're going to hear some music playing, but you'll notice right in front of you there's a huge movie screen and there'll be a movie playing, but this movie is the most suspenseful movie you have ever seen. In fact, it's going to be so suspenseful you can barely watch it, but you're going to feel it as soon as you see it and you hear that music start in one, two, three. Oh, look at that screen. What's going to happen? Oh, suspenseful. What's going to happen? Yeah. Oh, oh. You barely sit still. What's going to happen to that screen? Oh, they're so worried. What's going to happen? I know. I know. That movie's changing. It is now the saddest movie you have ever seen. The saddest, most tearjerker. In fact, every time you see this movie, you just sit and cry. Oh, oh it's so sad. Do you see it? Oh, I know. Oh, it's so sad. Look at it. You can't help. You feel the tears. Rolling down your face. Oh, it's such a sad movie. I know this is. It is so sad. Oh, how sad is this? It? Oh, it's all been so sad. Oh, if it just gets sadder, it gets twice as sad. Oh. Now that movie's changing again. It is now the scariest movie you have ever seen. Now you will remain in your seats, but this is scary. It's a movie you would never watch alone. What's gonna happen? It is so scary. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's a scary movie? Oh. Go in there. Tell him not to go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Okay, everybody down the stage, look at me. Look at me on the count of three. I just want you to close your eyes. One, two, three. Close your eyes from this moment on. I'm going to talk to the audience for a little bit. But every word I say is going to be the funniest thing you have ever heard. Now, here's the catch it doesn't matter what I say whether it's something that's awful or sad or anything, but to you, it's going to be the funniest thing you have ever heard. Now, here's the other catch. These things might not be funny to me, so you don't want to let me catch you laughing. In fact, it's kind of like when you get the giggles in church or school, and you're just trying to hold it in, but you just can't. When I count to three, everything I say is going to be hilarious, but I cannot catch you laughing or you'll, there will be severe consequences. One, two, and three. Open your eyes. Everybody feeling good? Yeah? So I'm gonna to talk to the audience for a minute because I've had, I've had kind of a rough, rough year this year. <laughs> so let me tell the audience. I was out in my backyard a little bit ago. It's like probably earlier in the year and I was playing with my dog. I was playing with my dog and my foot went into this hole and the bottom of my leg snapped like a stick. Like, like the bone was sticking out. And it, it hurt so bad. I was in so much pain. I, could, I couldn't even get up. And I was screaming in the yard. I was screaming. It hurt so bad. Like, like my bone was sticking out. 
it was bad. It was, and I hurt so bad, and my wife wouldn't even call the ambulance. She yelled at me because I was making noise. And it hurt so bad, it hurt so bad that I actually peed my pants. I did. It's embarrassing, but it happened. And then my dog ran over because I think he was nervous, and he peed on my head. So they get me to the hospital, nobody visited, no one would come and see me. They put me in a room, they, and I said, I'm hurting so bad, they wouldn't give me medication. They said to tough it out. And while I'm in the hospital, I get a call that my dog was dead. My dog was dead, like he died. And not only that, that not only was he dead, but that my wife killed him. It's awful. It was the worst day of my life. It's terrible. I, I, it's the worst day ever in my entire life. So everyone on stage, the next time you laugh, you go back down deep into relaxation. The next time you laugh, it was bad. I was hurt so bad. Bad. Terrible. Bad. Hey. Oh, don't get scared here, okay. All right, people, give it up for your stars of the show.